Hi, this is Ian Michaels with Leanster Research, and this is the Sales Performance Management Glean Site Benchmark Report. Now, this is an interesting space because Sales Performance Management has really only been an acronym in business for probably around the last decade. And it actually evolved out of incentive compensation management solutions, which are designed to manage sales compensation in a complex enterprise environment. So many organizations even still are doing this in Excel. And, uh, and, and disseminating these Excel spreadsheets and templates throughout the organization and aggregating it up. But obviously the complexity of managing compensation in Excel demands a greater structure um, and more systematic approach. So solutions evolved that, that address some of these challenges for large organizations, and mainly in, in certain industries. So telco, where you have a distributed sales force that gets compensated by portfolio kickers or very complex environments like Cisco or you know, in, in hardware or technology. Uh, this report actually outlines kind of the evolution of the industry and why organizations are starting to invest in these technologies and what makes sales performance management such a unique and different topic area. Uh, what we're seeing right now in this industry is, is a broadening of the solution capability. So you're no longer seeing incentive compensation as a module, if you will, as a dedicated standalone solution. It's really kind of the core solution and then it's augmented around additional capabilities for managing sales intelligence, managing configure price quote, uh, managing uh, CRM integration, um, analytics, et cetera. So this report will actually go through the reasons top performers implement these technologies. You'll find out the top three reasons, there's actually nine, uh, on, on why organizations or how organizations are justifying investments in SPM. And one of the key findings here is, you know, this is still, um, a hot space. It's still kind of emerging and evolving. And I think it was a little bit nascent over the last few years because organizations struggled to divest of those legacy practices or spreadsheets that they were using and make the case for a more broad solution. So we're finally starting to see capabilities that are on demand, that are easy to implement, that are rapid. Um, there are consulting uh, engagements out there that can get you up and running very quickly with a solution that's going to show an ROI much faster. So it, it's a lot easier to justify these solutions and naturally sales performance management uh, impacts your revenue. So it's very easy to justify an ROI when you can measure before and after, you know, what was it like when we were doing this in spreadsheets and, and how much did we improve and enable our sales force by moving to an actual technology. The report itself also has chapters on the challenges that you might face how companies overcame those challenges, um, the value drivers, how do you maximize the return on investment in a sales performance management solution. These are obviously large um, investments for an organization, multi-million dollar investments that could be equally as much in consulting and, and uh, configuration. So it, it's important to manage the change management, the people, process, and technology that you're, that you're going to drive uh, internally when investing in these technologies. And then it also talks about the metrics you can use to justify success. And then we close things out with a full vendor landscape with vendor rankings on the different solutions. And these vendor rankings are actually predicated on the users themselves. So what the technology users said they liked across three different uh, capabilities or, or um, dimensions of the technology. So take a look, enjoy, and uh, check out additional research we have coming out and deep dives and things that we will be doing on this data set.